Let's talk some good news for your health. Dr. Rich O'Neill joins us right now from SUNY Upstate. Good morning. My favorite topic, chocolate. Mine too, Laura. Yeah. Really good news for chocolate lovers and people who want to get rid of heart disease chances. Okay. Um, these researchers, we've known for a while that eating chocolate is good for reducing the chance of heart disease. These researchers combined a whole bunch of studies into one, looked at not only heart disease, but stroke as well, and found people who ate a good portion of chocolate every day had about a third less chance of developing heart disease and stroke. So amazing, really, That's results. That's really good. Yes. Now, did they define, you know, chocolate comes in, in various grades and various yes. styles. Yep. Does that make a difference? If these folks were asked any kind of chocolate, what did you eat? But the, the, um, there's something in the cocoa bean. Okay. That it's not the fat in the chocolate. It's not, and you want to separate out the fat if you're concerned about gaining sure. weight. Uh, I have a secret to tell you about that in a okay. minute. Okay. But the, um, it's the, the substance in the cocoa bean. Doesn't matter what it's served in, it'll still help. Okay, so there you go. Let's hear your secret. My secret is uh, instead of drink eating chocolate with all the fat, right. you can have the cocoa, the baking powder cocoa. Okay. Mix it with a little aspartame or something like that. Okay. And some, and some skim milk tastes just like hot cocoa but has none oh. of the fat. It's fabulous. I guarantee you, you're okay. going to love it. Okay, yeah. that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, we'll put your recipe on our website. Right. Well, what do you good think? Idea. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. and we'll put the study on there too. Yeah. Doctor, thank you very much you're for welcome, good news. Lord. We'll go out and not feel guilty about eating all that chocolate. Yeah, healthy. Yeah, there yeah. you go.